We are now being joined by Mr. Chinedu Kadike, PRO, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. Mr. Kadike, good evening. Uh, good evening. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Now, I understand that it is the NNPC that has the blending plant that can blend fuel, you know, and, 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 and you know, clinically too. Why then is the Independent Marketers Association going into the blending of these products when they do not have the wherewithal to do so? Okay, if you, if you listen to the uh, GMD of NNPC, uh, have shown that uh, they are the uh, uh, tracking device or, or tracking records uh, cannot be able to show where some of these uh, petroleum products have gone to. And uh, also remember that it said that uh, some of these petroleum products might have uh, gone out of the So, uh, I, like I said before earlier on, that up to now, uh, we have not had any success with uh, the management of PPM staff. Uh, to be able to access to be able to bring our data of the small species that are connected that have this uh, uh, product. Now we, we are talking about our capital here that has been tied down for very long time, and some all, some of these species have close to one hundred and twenty to one hundred and fifty thousand liters of this uh, uh, other type product, or contaminated product, you know. And uh, as independent marketers, we are service oriented. We are also profit oriented. In as much as the government regulates the profits we have. So we can't just not sit uh, tight and watch uh, Nigerian suffer. We also have to uh, resolve by the national president, uh, who also obtained, uh, Alaji Ahmed Debo, who also obtained that uh, marketers should see how they can be able to help the uh, federal government come out of this. So some of our marketers in Lagos have experimented uh, this thing by adding some uh, fresh products into it to see whether they can be able to blend. Since it, it contains excessive uh, ethanol and stuff. So, uh, and uh, so far, uh, uh, marketers in uh, River State and uh, Imo State and uh, Delta State have also uh, tried as much as possible to see whether they can bring in fresh uh, uh, well so that they can be able to blend this petroleum product. And uh, some of them, it, it worked out for them and it doesn't work out for them. So, uh, the thing is that we are deadlocked. So, what they it, it works, it, it works out like, oh, that they have worked out. One of the way that it doesn't work at because that will all remain in that station and the station will be quarantined and this will continue to cost us. So as as, as the traffic Nigerians and also having a, a, a vision, a, a president that is that, that, that has vision, they decided to say, okay, let us see how we can be able to help to so come out of this lockdown because people are doing panic buying. And because of this thrift, this uh, uh, cut chains of supply, it, it has affected the queues. So, and the thing is coming out to be test. But uh, right now, this evening, it was a big for private deposit, and uh, now they did. And uh, we did. I think uh, okay. we'll get a little bit relief. All right, so how safe will this blended product by the marketers be for consumption? Uh, well, they, they said uh, the product has excessive ethanol, and that means it is not blended properly. So, and uh, those who have also done that have also seen, uh, they have experimented it that way. It also moves. So it doesn't need any uh, chemical combustion to be able to uh, ensure that that product uh, 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 may be moves. So the people have, that have done something already have uh, testified that it's working. So we're also okay, but I understand. I understand that they do not have the testing machines to determine that. So how can they verify certainly that it is okay? Yeah, we don't have the testing machine uh, to verify that. Uh, but uh, we will have to also uh, resolve to test it. Uh, when you are you, when you are in this kind of lockdown, your station is closed, and uh, uh, you have products stuck on the ground. You have all over uh, 10 to 40 million dollars per computer. They bounce on your, your neck. Market uh, more buyers are also on your neck. And uh, tomorrow, DPR will come to your uh, institution to say that you, you are holding the film product. So you have to do something to, pick, uh, to run back to the So that is why since we have seen that help is not coming to the market. 
What do we do is to decide as I mean to see how we can be able to. Although some of us have also written to the authorities to also tell them that we have located this product in some police stations and are also happy with it for them. So, so we can't just throw the hands, we have to do something. We, have to have to, we don't have the uh, equipment in as much as one of our sisters' uh, 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 association has also tried to acquire some of the equipment. But we, we the independent marketers, we don't have such and uh, we must have to do something so that we can also remain. Yeah, the predicament of the independent marketers is, is, is very clear to all. And, and one understands yeah. uh, the need to do something, as you keep repeating. And that also makes one wonder, what is the NNPC doing as the gatekeeper, so to speak? What are they doing? Well, uh, uh, the conversation, uh, my national president uh, have with the top management of the uh, NNPC. I think uh, we, we also suggested that they should try as much as possible to see whether they can be able to push products inside to the inland depots. You know, and uh, those uh, NNPC inland depots will also help because these are uh, depots that are that, uh, uh, independent marketers uh, uh, solely uh, depend on. Uh, and uh, the kind of problem we're also facing in some of our private uh, tank farms is that the products are not being sold at the government's stipulated price. Most of the tank farms owners are selling their products at one sixty five like, per liter, one one sixty seven. So how can independent marketers sell at one sixty five when government's stipulated rate was price? So these are problems we are facing. And I've also asked the managing director of PPS to ensure that uh, uh, products are being pushed to some of our inland depots. We are NPC apps control of uh, this product and can be able to distribute it to independent, any independent marketers who can go to the uh, public and sell. So uh, yes, if this thing continues like this, it means that you might not be able to get your product at one that was at government's pleasant rate. You might be able to get your product at uh, 175, 200. So and the uh, marketers must be in this. That is the essence of it because this lockdown is not for the benefit of everybody. We cannot be able to put our hands and see marketers and Nigeria suffers, they in long place for it. Wow. One is not sounding... Um, well, let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. It is a very uh, unpleasant situation that we find ourselves as it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, very, very unpleasant. Very, very unpleasant because, uh, you see, uh, there must be a backfall. There must be a result. You know, when something like this happens, uh, you look at the policies of government that they have imported 300 million liters. Imported. It's not that we are even falling back to our reserves where, you know, to be able to augment it. Nigeria should have a, a, a reservoir where millions of uh, petroleum products should be stored in case we have this kind of stuff. And without a doubt, making our refineries functional is what? the best yes. solution to all it's of this. The, the best to make it a competitive environment. We are modular refineries, so we will be for it to. Uh, establish modular refinery, uh, our refineries should be working. You will say, we can even export. Why can't Nigeria export the petroleum product? Since we, we have food here, yeah, locally sourced. So, and uh, the, the, we are losing employment, we are losing value, we are even, our numbers are depreciating and high cost of living. These are the key reactions of petroleum products. And that is why I see sometimes when this kind of thing happens, you will see a level, you will see a UK, you will see a um, uh, 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 on this issue, just to ensure that Nigeria does suffer, suffer the ripple reactions of the uh, act of the Thank you so much, Mr. Chinedu Kadike, the PR of Ipman, for your time again. Thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.